this lesson we're going to look at doing a binary to octal conversion and uh, this is really neat uh, it's much quicker to convert to octal and from octal back again to binary than it is to convert to decimal and octal numbers are uh, easier to work with than binary numbers so it's it's useful to know how to do this conversion so the way to do it is one, one thing that will make it easier is to have a conversion table written out and it's really easy to construct this table we just count in binary we have a three bit binary number here and to construct this you can just start with the ones column and count 0, 01010101 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. and then the next column over that's the twos column in binary and so do two zeros two ones two zeros two ones and the next column over is the fours column where we have four zeros and four ones and so that gives us our count in binary and then to the right of that just count in uh, uh, from 0 to 7 uh, like you would with normal decimal counting and when if you just combine yourself to these symbols here 0 through 7 that's a total of eight different symbols if you confine yourself to those you're then working in base 8 which is also known as octal and so with this conversion table let me show you how easy it is to convert a binary number to an octal number and what you do is given a binary number for example this 8-bit number you start on the right hand side and break your number up into groups of three so we'll go three three and we only have two on this end so just pretend there's a leading zero right here and then look at your three bit number here we have one zero zero and find that on your table one zero zero is the number four and so you just write down a four right there and then the next three bit number is one zero one find that on the table one zero one is a five and then finally, 010, zero, 010 zero, zero, one, zero is a 2. And that's all you have to do to convert from binary to octal. So this binary number, base 2 number, sometimes we'll write a little 2 right there to the right of it, is equivalent to this uh, octal number, 254. And sometimes we'll write a little 8, so we know we're not talking about the decimal number 254, but rather the base 8, the octal number 254. Let's do it again on this, this other binary number here. Uh, first of all, the first step is to start on the right hand side and break your number up into three bits at a time. And then if you're short some digits over here, uh, just fill in on the very left hand side with a zero. And then look your number up on the table. 111 is the number seven. And 110 is the number six. And 011 is the number 3. And there we have it. Converted a binary number to an octal number using our conversion table.